Can you get a true Edinburgh experience for under a hundred pounds? Mm, yes, we did. And we did it with a family of four. We'll bring you through everything that you can do in Edinburgh to be able to give you a true Scottish taste and feel while sticking to a budget. Also, subscribe below to stay tuned on how we managed to find free, free accommodation in Edinburgh for three weeks. We're gonna be making that video, it's coming up soon, so subscribe below to stay tuned. All right, first things first, you'll need to get around. In Edinburgh, the bus is the cheapest and easiest way to see the city. Hop on and off at any location around the city with a full day bus pass for only £4.50 per adult or a family for £9.50. The rest of the time you'll be getting your steps in as you make your way through this very walkable city. With cobblestone lined streets with old stone buildings to the water of Leith path that spans the city, you'll also want to take in the views by foot. Starting with the downtown core, most popular being the Royal Mile and Old Town, this stretch of street is lined with fun shops and great pubs. It's also home of many famous red phone booths, perfect for grabbing a selfie, and to have a listen to live music played by Scotland's bagpipers. Of course, the Royal Mile leads up to the Edinburgh Castle, but this isn't where you'll want to take in a good view of this stunning castle. That would be in Grassmarket, a location down the hill not a far walk from the Royal Mile. Getting into the castle costs a pretty pence for a family to view the interiors, so this may be out of budget. For us, we got the ticket for free as we had signed up previously for the Historic Scotland membership, which gives you access to over 70 castles across Scotland for the price of two. The pubs in this part of town are on the pricey side too, so we suggest saving your pounds for a later time. But I promise, just taking in the countless pub facades will give you all the Scottish pub feels. If you pop into Newtown, just beside Old Town Edinburgh, then you will see even more fun pubs, some with pretty interesting names. While you're downtown, you'll absolutely have to pop into the National Museum of Scotland. Now. I'm not really always one of the people who love museums, but not only did we have tons of fun, I truly can't believe that this is also free. That's right, this interactive museum has Scottish and world history exhibits, but it also has interactive science and technology and animal kingdom exhibits, and it's all 100% free. We grabbed a light lunch here, which was quite affordable at about 18 pounds. Actually, Scotland offers free entry into most of their museums and galleries, including the National Gallery of Scotland, where you can view art by famous artists like Matisse, Degas, Monet, and Van Gogh. Another free site to see downtown Edinburgh is St. Giles Cathedral, the official cathedral for the Knights of the Order of the Thistle. This beautiful site is along the Royal Mile and is super easy to access. The downtown core of Edinburgh is so full of life and wonderful things to see that you really could spend days just exploring this region, but we'll take you to some other sites that you could see for free and grab some food along the way. There are many buses that run downtown to the Botanic Gardens, yet another free site in Edinburgh. Here you can get to learn all about Scotland's native plants as well as sections from other parts of the world. This leisure walk is breathtaking and a perfect place for a picnic.
aside from the Old Town and Royal Mile, two of the more picturesque locations in Edinburgh are Dean Village and Leith. Dean Village is a small area with adorable old buildings lining the water of Leith River. Technically, you could walk the water of Leith from here to Leith itself, where the river merges with the sea, but that would take about an hour. Instead, enjoy the views around the village and take a short walk along the river before popping back on the bus to head toward Leith. Make a pit stop at the pit a unique little food truck haven on Pitt Street just shy of Leith. This side street establishment houses multiple food trucks and has a sit-in location where you can share tables with people and dogs alike. Many pubs and restaurants are dog friendly and this is no exception. We all got to order something delicious from any of the food trucks. The prices are a few pounds cheaper than a typical pub for each meal. So just sit down and order a pint from their website and grab a bite for about mm, five to nine pounds per meal. We spent 50 pounds for a family of four to get our fill, including drinks all around. From the pit, you can walk along the water of Leith again until you reach Leith, the port district of Edinburgh. This harbour town is filled with old factories converted into apartments as well as ships and boats to view on the inlet off the North Sea. This area of Edinburgh played a big part in World War II and has tons of history to explore. Our kids always love a good playground and not far from here is a fantastic park that all ages can enjoy. Zip lines, rock climbing, pirate ships, ropes, and more will keep your kids entertained while you take a much needed break. As you can see, this city is full of amazing things to see and do for free for the whole family. Our kids have enjoyed every part of this city that we've explored and can't wait to be able to come back to see even more. Edinburgh is definitely a city that just keeps on giving with its endless beauty and kindness and history. We have had a chance to stay in this fantastic city for three weeks without having to pay for our accommodation and we really want to share that with you. So please subscribe below and stay tuned for that video which is upcoming. Uh, we really want to be able to share with you all the ways that we have saved money as we travel. Comment below, budget travel, if you love to save money while you're traveling. Truth be told, we have actually wasted far too much money um, in the first few months of our full-time travel. Lots of mistakes, but I mean, that's expected. We're okay with that in a way <laughs> because we get to now learn those lessons and share them with you so that you don't have to make those same mistakes. Um, and also as we keep going, of course, we'll adjust how we do our, um, our own travel and be able to get it, our budget down even lower. We have actually put together our first income and expense report for you so that you could see what it really costs to be able to travel as a family full time. Um, included in that is our five most costly mistakes um, and lessons learned from that. So you can find that in the description below, sign up for that. We are going to be making income and expense reports once a month 
um, to be able to keep you up to date on those things. We think that it's really good to be transparent about what it actually costs. I know that lots of people have that question of how do you do it? How much does it cost to be able to do uh, full-time travel? And that's really what these uh, monthly newsletters are going to be about. It's about helping you learn those things about how you can do it and how much it truly costs. Um, and also again, the lessons learned to be able to make it more affordable for you and for us. So find that in that report down below. And once our video on the free accommodation in Edinburgh is uh, made and up, we will be putting it right here for you. So hopefully it's there already. <laughs> um, if not, subscribe below. Stay tuned for that. And thank you for joining us every further mile.